So, you've downloaded some mods, you've played with them, discovered them in the card index, and maybe unlocked some new things, but now you've come up with a great new idea for a card and you want to make it yourself. This video will cover uh, making your first modded card. So, the first thing that you'll want to do is go into settings and turn off full screen because we need windows here. So, um, when you're modding, you likely want the game open because the game is a good reference for a lot of things um, such as the card index. But you don't want it full screen uh, because we're going to be working with other things at the same time. So, we can close out that. And the next thing I recommend doing is going into the Discord, going into the modding resources, and downloading whatever the latest version of the Dex of Dexterity modding manual is. So right now we have point, uh, 0.1 as the main version. So give that a download, uh, open it up, uh, because, oops, open it that up, because it's another good reference. And that's, uh, that's really all you need. So, the next thing that you'll want to do is uh, go back into settings um, and mouse over um, the modding features setting. What this does is it shows you the location of the install folder. Uh, if you're on Windows, this likely is uh, program files uh, 86 or 64. Dex of Dexterity. Um, on Mac, it'll be something else. It won't be this. This is just because I'm testing in uh, Game Maker. So, what you'll want to do is you'll want to open up that file location and um, make it so that you can see the files. So, uh, I'll do that just by do using uh, Visual Studio Code. This is my preferred text editor. So, you'll want some code editor also. So maybe download Visual Studio Code. But once you uh, go to the uh, the games folder here, uh, there will be a folder called cards. And here will be the contents of cards. You won't have any modded... F uh, actually, if you downloaded uh, modded files from the card codex, you'll see some of them here. But if you don't, uh, that means you don't have anything installed, and that's fine. So, the first thing I suggest doing is going into the examples folder and copying one of the existing cards. So, uh, let's think of an idea of a card that I want to make. I don't exactly know. We're just going to explain what all is going on. So I'm just going to copy uh, Barrage, so copy that, and then paste it into the cards folder. And then let's rename it. So card example card. So alongside that, the file name is important. So all modded cards need to start with car card, curse, legendary, or treasure. And if you go into the examples, uh, that is shown here. You can see that we have cards, curses, uh, treasures, and uh, in this case, I don't have any legendaries, but um, yeah, it would just start with legendary. Uh, here we can see legendary swift sniper. Uh, the name doesn't matter beyond that first um, part. So card underscore, then whatever you want the card's name to be. So uh, once you've created a card JSON file, uh, it will be visible in the game. So let's let me uh, rename this one to example card. So I just uh, change the name and save that. And then if I restart the game, um, for me that means I have to go into Game Maker and rerun it. For you, uh, that means just closing and reopening the game. Now, so we named that card example card, and if we go into the card index, 
we should see a card called example card. And we do. That's the card we just made. But let's go back and look at the code for the card. So all cards in um, Dex of Dexterity are made using JSON. Um, JSON is a language that isn't a programming language, but basically what you do is you define key value pairs. So we have name, description, long description, class, artwork fuses with, and then we define um, what the values of those are. So, uh, for example, uh, we, we named this card example card, but let's try and think of a card that we uh, might actually be interested in playing. So Barrage here uh, plays a variety of Gunslinger cards, and then you take 200 damage. So let's make the equivalence of this for Blade Master instead. So um, let's think of a name instead of Barrage that might be good for Blade Master. How about like um, um, So I already added one card that was a Harry Potter reference, but let's add another one. Sectum Sempra. So this is a card that uh a spell in Harry Potter that does a whole bunch of slashing blades moves. Um, so that's that's the idea. You can name it whatever you want. Um, so the description is the text that is on the front of the card below the name. So for us, this is going to say play every blade master card. Take 200 damage. And then long description here is the text that shows up when you click and hold and inspect the card. So we'll say uh, play blade flurry dragons breath. Uh, no, dragons fury um, spear. Uh, what are other ones? Impale and. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. So that's our long description of when you inspect it. Uh, the class here is uh, just what class the card is. It's going to be Gunslinger, Blade Master, Electromancer, Time Turner. Uh, make sure you spell it correctly and capitalize the letters. So we're just going to give this card to Blade Master. And then the next part here uh, is what we use to define the artwork of the card. So uh, this might look a little bit weird, but this is the internal name of the card we want to use the art artwork for. So if we want to find that, um, we first need to go into Dex of Dexterity. So let me boot up the game again. And then when you have modding features enabled, you can inspect cards and see their internal name. So this is why I recommended uh, having the game open. So we can have the game open over here. Um, open up the card index. And then for um, this new Sectum Semper card, uh, let's find a art artwork that might go well with it. Um, hmm. I'm thinking Blade Flurry has a pretty good artwork that matches. So what we can do is we can inspect the card. And the uh, scaling is a little bit weird. And we can see the internal name of the card down here as card underscore blade underscore flurry. So if we want to use that artwork, we just type that in card underscore blade underscore flurry. And that is uh, how we define the artwork. So uh, next you can define the cards it fuses with. So this is a list of cards. So in JSON you define a list by having square brackets and then you can have each value separated by commas. So for example all uh, cards can that can fuse with things uh, fuse with wild cards. So that's one example here. Let's go find 
um, the Blade Master equivalent that gives plus one or plus two FP to attack cards. So it's called Gladiator. And we can see that the internal name of Gladiator is card Gladiator. So let's change that. Gladiator. So we have defined all of the information of the card here. Um, that's uh, all the important details. So the next thing that you'll want to do is program what the card actually does. So um, you can see here we have this list called play actions. So uh, this defines what the card is going to do. So it's first going to play gunslinger and then it's going to play rapid fire and then play cannonball, snipe, chain gun, play unload, and then it's going to subtract 200 HP. So that's our idea of what the text does. This is, of course, the previous card that we copied and pasted. So let's uh, change what this card does. So it's going to play card blade flurry, card um, dragons, what did I call it? Dragons fury. Card Dragon Fury. That's why you have to look it up um, because uh, the names don't always uh, um, interact properly. Uh, spear. I know that card Spear is called Card Pike. Um, card Impale. And that's what we, we decided on. Um, I actually want to include one more. So we should just be able to click off of this, go to Blade Master, and then I want to include um, the one that lets you dash three times and then gives you, um, you know, stuff. Uh, fatigue. What's it called? Where is it? Where is it? Do, 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 do. I forget the name. Ninja's Wrath. There it is. Card Ninja's Wrath. Card Ninja's Wrath. Okay. So now we have programmed what our card does. Um, so you would make a different list here if you wanted to do burn actions or play actions or a variety of different actions. So if you go into the Dexterity manual, you can see all the different playable card action lists. So play actions, burn actions, draw actions, burn others actions, fusion actions, spark, after shuffle. And then there's a bunch of other actions that are um, specific to treasures. So alongside that, uh, you can see we did one math operation here. We did subtract HP 200. So that subtracts 200 from HP. There's a variety of other variables also. So there is, there's actually like 65 variables that you can change. So if you wanted to change armor, you could do subtract five armor, um, add five armor, uh, fatigue, um, and whatnot. So and there is also other operations. Uh, so there's add, subtract, multiply, divide. Um, those are all the math operations. And then you can also do uh, logical operations. So if we take a look at lucky number seven, here's the source code for lucky number seven. So we do an if operation. So if cards in discard equals seven, we add three burns. If cards in deck equals seven, uh, we add three temporary FP. And if cards in deck equals seven, we add three uh, card FP. These are all different just variables. Uh, you can see them in this list. Um, but yeah, it lets you uh, do logic uh, in the action lists also. Uh, right now, you only can do logic in 
uh, other action lists than play. Uh, you There is a workaround to do it, but it takes a little bit uh, of difficulty. So um, alongside that, um, now that we have uh, programmed our card, um, one thing that we will want to do is uh, test it. So unfortunately, this example card is a little old and doesn't have um, the last parameter in the list. So if we find a different card that has a more up-to-date JSON, you can see that there's another miscellaneous, there's a parameter in the miscellaneous section called development mode. And you'll want to turn that on to true. Um, so when development mode is enabled on a card and we uh, start the game again, restart the game. I don't ha I have to restart the game. You might not actually have to. Um, your cards might update in real time. So when development mode is enabled, and these parameters don't need to be in specific sections. These header lines are just um, for, for reference. So information, actions, options. Um, so uh, options here are just optional parameters. So you can set the requirements of, for a card. So if you want it to be locked and require having some other cards uh, to unlock, you can define those cards here just like this. Uh, so tooltip cards are the cards that show up uh, in the collection screen if you inspect the card. So for this card, uh, let's actually change the tooltip cards to the cards it plays so that if someone doesn't know um, any of these cards, they can just inspect it and see the details of those cards. So we update the tooltip cards. Um, so alongside that, in the options, there is show fusion value. Um, what that does is if your card doesn't take and doesn't have any benefits to fusion points, you can uh, make it so that the fusion point value is hidden and um, doesn't show up on the card. Um, fusion bonus is how many additional fusion points you get for fusing copies of this card. So you might have noticed that some cards in the game, like uh, Blunderbuss, or uh, freestyle uh, scale faster when you fuse multiple cards together. They get like plus five or six fusion points when they fuse, so you can define that here. Uh, the next ones are pretty self-explanatory. Free to burn, so if you don't want the card to require having a burn to burn, you can set that to be true. Uh, if you want the card to be fragile, you can set that to be true. Um, show fragile. So if you want a card to be fragile but not show up as being fragile, you can turn this to false. Uh, flare. So if you want to enable the flare keyword so the card is burnt once and then it is temporarily removed from your deck, you can turn that to be true. And then you, you can decide if a card can have buffs put on it or not. Uh, currently, every card in the game has these values to be true. So for the most part, you can leave all of these to just be um, their regular values. So the final thing in the miscellaneous section is development mode. Uh, when you are working on your card, you'll want this to be true, and then it will be turned off um, when you just want the card to show up normally. Uh, format version, uh, you shouldn't change. Just leave it at whatever value it is. Uh, here you can sign the card and put your name if you want, and then you can say the date the card was created. These are all just um, not important, not super important, but it just lets you um, know who made the card. But anyway, now that I've uh, explained all of the different parameters um, in the card JSON file, let's go back into the game. And since we enabled development mode, uh, what that means is when we start any run with any class, um, three copies of that card will be automatically added to our deck. So let's go into Blade Master and start a new game and uh, see that our card, Sectum Sempra, is um, 
in our deck. So uh, with that in our deck, we can just start a fight and make sure it works. And we drew it, so we can just play it. And we are playing Blade Flurry first. And then we're teleporting, since that's what Blade Flurry does. Dragon's Fury, Spear, Impale, and then Ninja's Wrath. So it looks like our card works. And then we take 200 damage. You see, we took some damage there. Um, so let's uh, oop, finish this fight. And our modded card works. So the next thing, after you create your modded card, and you've tested it, and it works, and you want to share it, what I really recommend doing is naming your card properly, card Sectum Sempra. And then um, finding it, finding the file, and going on over to Discord, going to the Share Mods menu, and throw your JSON here. So now I can uh, take a look at your card and give it a play myself. And if it's really good, and it doesn't even need to be really good. If it works and is um, interesting enough, it's not complete garbage, um, I'll put it in the card index and then anyone else will be able to play with it. So that's a more in-depth um, explanation of modding and Dex of Dexterity. If you have any questions, uh, once over, please, please go ahead and post them in the modding discussion form. Um, I will have no problem helping you get your cards working or uh, debugging them. One important thing also that you can do to check to make sure your card is going to work is just copy it, go on over to the internet, and search for JSON, <clears throat> JSON validator. And then choose the first one. And then paste your, your card's text here. And it will say valid JSON. So if you made some mistake, like you forgot a semi, a, a double quote or something, you can hit validate and it will tell you where the, the problem is. Uh, but if you use a code editor like uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, it will also do that where it turns things red. So yeah, that's um, modding index dexterity. Um, 